Hi everybody, Joe Patty here, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade caramel with just one ingredient. Let's get started everybody. Okay, to start off, I have a deep pot on the stove. You can't do it with a shallow pot, it's got to be a really deep pot because, well, simply because the can has to stay covered in the water the whole time. Now the one item that I have to make your caramel is sweetened condensed milk. Anybody can get it anywhere. It's in every country. Any sweetened condensed can of milk will work. So to get started, I'm just going to take the label off because otherwise it can be really messy, y'all. Get messy on you. All right, we're going to drop that in here and see how the water covers. Now the good thing about this is that you don't have to cook just one can at a time. You can cook three or four or five, whatever will fit in there. And you're going to let it stay at a simmer for three hours. But here's the kicker, you guys. This is the most important thing. you got to check the water regularly and make sure that the can is completely submerged and covered. Because if the can does become exposed at all on the top, it could explode. You don't want that. So you got to check on it. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on this. I got my timer set for every 30 minutes for the next three hours to check this and make sure that the water is covering the can. Okay, everybody, it's been three hours. I've taken the can out of the water and I'm going to let it sit. You need to let it sit for about six to eight hours just to be on the safe side because if you open it up right away, it could explode and you'll get caramel all over and you don't want that to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to let this sit overnight since it's late here. And we'll crack her open in the morning. All right, everybody. It sat overnight, and now it's time for the big reveal. But first, I wanted to say that if I go to the store and I buy a jar, a glass jar of caramel, it's about 5 or $6. And buying a can of sweetened condensed milk, it costs me $1.64. So you're really saving a lot of money just to do it yourself. I also wanted to say that people call it different in different countries. Some people call it caramel, toffee, syrup, dolce de leche, whatever have you. It's all the same thing, really. It's sweet and caramely and gooey and ooey and oh so delicious. Okay, everybody, let's go. Here we go, the big reveal. Get it open here. Oh, <laughs> of course that would happen, but ooh, I can see the caramel in there. All right, I'm going to have to get the can opener out. Hold on a second. Here we go, everyone. Let's try this again. Oh, look at that, you guys. Seriously? Oh, look at that caramel. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Don't be afraid to try this. And remember, if you follow my instructions, nothing's going to explode. Nothing's going to happen. You got to keep the can submerged in the water so the top don't flop off or whatever and have an explosion. You don't need any uh, third degree burns. All right, here we go. I'm going to taste this, you guys. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring it closer. Look at that. I can't see in the camera. Let's see. Look at that. Homemade caramel. Look how thick and ooey gooey that is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this out of the can in a minute and put it in a little jar for myself and stick it in the refrigerator. Okay, now I'm going to test taste this thing. Yummy, yummy. I want a little baby spoonful. Here we go, everybody. Mmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you how good that is all right everybody there you have it one ingredient homemade caramel in a can thank you for watching everybody i hope you give it a try please let me know in the comments if you guys want to try this and a riveter to everybody see you again soon back in the studio